Hi there, my name is Aaron Short and welcome to my YouTube channel and today I'm reacting to this new announcement, exciting announcement from Martin Guitar, a new era starts soon. Be the first to own our groundbreaking new guitar. So this email arrived today. We're getting close to the NAMM show. The NAMM show is next month. I'm hoping to go. And if I do go, I'll be sure to check out all this stuff. So please subscribe and ring the bell if you're into gear. I guess if you're not into gear and guitars, you wouldn't be watching this video. I wasn't expecting too much from the NAMM show. People have been very down on the NAMM show. This is the National Association of Music Merchants trade show. The big one in Anaheim It's back to January again. Not everyone's going, and some people that are going will not be having big booths and things like that. But I am starting to hear rumors of several exciting releases. And here's one that slapped me in the face today, this afternoon, just out of nowhere in my email inbox. So I'm going to break down this announcement, give my reaction. Obviously, we have no information about the details of this yet, but it's a really interesting thing. And this is right up my alley. I love acoustic guitars. I love cutaway guitars. I love guitars for the stage. And it seems to be that this is what this is. And it just completely out of the blue. Let's jump into it because I want to show you the email they sent and start breaking this down. Okay, so this is it. Look at that. A cutaway Martin. What can we ascertain from this image? Not a lot because they've grayed it out. But we can see kind of like it may be... A sunburst kind of top, not a natural wood top. Maybe that's just the lighting they've used to hide it. The binding is not your plastic binding. It's more of a wood binding. I'm not exactly sure what that is. It's got a cutaway. And here's the really crazy thing. This is not an SC body shape. This looks like the GPC body shape or maybe a new kind of cutaway body shape. I don't understand this because Martin don't really do cutaways. In fact, lately I've been looking for more Martin colorways and apart from a few custom shops that pop up now and again, you just don't see them. They're really, really rare. They're on the low end models. There was a standard series GPC, OMC and HDC a few years ago that I absolutely loved. I thought that was a great guitar for stage, but they discontinued it. They put out production for a while and they just made the standard body shapes. Now, here's the thing. We did have the pandemic where people were not performing on stage as much. So maybe this guitar was coming sooner and took a back seat for that reason. And they focused on their standard models because they were so behind with production about a year ago. That's possible. This has obviously been in the works for a while. New guitars don't just come out. They're planned years in advance. But I find it interesting because the SC13E was released at the last NAMM show I went to in Anaheim, which was right before we locked down. They've sold really well and they've released the higher end custom shop, well, way higher end custom shop guitars, more like $8,000. They seem to be still selling and making those guitars. So I thought that the logical next step would be to make like a, an SC28E guitar. But I know to do that, they need special tooling and machinery to make that new body shape. I know, what does this mean? And I invite you in the comments to tell me what you think this is going to be. It'll be fun to guess what this, what this is. And then we can come back after the NAMM show when it's released and announced. And we can see who was right. Just, just for some fun and games. Put your guesses in the comments what you think the specs of this guitar are going to be. And why they're releasing this guitar. I find it really interesting. This video serves as my comment. I'm surprised. This is a completely completely shocked me. But I'm really, really happy. And that's why I'm making the video. I loved the GPC body. I didn't love the guitar. That model as much as some others but if they can take that premise and make it even better acoustically and plugged in then i'm all on board for this another weird thing here and something that gives us a clue is that you can enter to win this today so i don't really understand why you'd release a brand new groundbreaking new era guitar and start by just giving one away when no one's even seen the guitar yet and yet you can enter to win one so do jump over to martin and enter to win and if you do win, then you can thank me later. The competition rules give us some info. And yes, I have entered already. The competition rules give us some interesting information. So if you click on official rules and scroll down, they have to tell you the value of the prize. So the value of this prize, if you look, is ARV $3,999. So this is in the standard series pricing range because a standard series Martin with a pickup system is around this price. So this is not a budget guitar. This is not a custom shop one-off guitar. This is a new guitar to their lineup. And I'm really excited they're bringing back this body shape, potentially with a cutaway. And I have to presume a pickup system because the cutaway guitars 
usually, in fact, always have pickup systems. So this could be just bringing back the GPC, installing the Martin Aura system, the blend system, and that could be it. Maybe some Evo Gold frets like the Modern Deluxe series. But to me, although that'd be pretty cool, that does not indicate what they're saying here. This is a big statement Martin are making. A new era, a new era starts soon. Be the first to own our groundbreaking new guitar. I mean, come on. If you're going to put this sort of hype into your marketing, this better be good. <laughs> That's all I can say. This is really exciting. So what could that mean? A new era? Could that mean carbon fiber or a composite material getting away from wood because we know the wood is you know eventually going to run out right so maybe that makes sense for them to do that i don't think martin will do that yet i think it's too soon i think they're too traditional for that so what could it mean well actually i have no idea let me tell you what i would like this to be in my ideal world and my ideal specs which never happens because i'm so I'm, I'm so particular about what i want from a guitar these days for stage that it just never happens but i would love to see the following first of all stainless steel frets i've been talking about these the last few weeks i am completely converted i've tried a few guitars a few acoustic guitars with stainless steel frets and i love them and i think if you're buying a cutaway guitar for the stage you want and need stainless steel frets so i would love to see this get stainless steel frets especially at that price point Secondly, the colorway we have, the body shape we have, that's all, that's all good for me. Obviously, the pickup system. Now, I want that body shape and everything to sound good as well. Maybe it'll use a new bracing. Are we going to get a new bracing? I can't believe Martin will move away from their bracing they've been using for years, you know, since the beginning of their company, the X bracing. We might get a spin on that. We'll probably get the adjustable neck that we had on the SC13E. But I'm still confused. What's up with that SC13? What is up with the SC body? I personally tried them. I like them. I don't love the neck. I don't love the feel of them being so small. They are very much more like an electric guitar style. It's not for me. I, I'm not really that interested, if I'm absolutely honest. I would like to try one some more, but the few times I've tried them, I just haven't like clicked with them. I think I'll click a lot more with a guitar like this, a more traditional guitar, but I still want some super modern features. And that brings me back to the pickup system. I want a new, and I've said this for the last 10 years, but I want a new innovative groundbreaking pickup system. Now the Fishman stuff is great. The Bags Anthem is great. They use right now, or should we say adequate, you know, good, excellent, adequate, whatever. I want something brand new. I want something that is very simple on the outside, and clean on the guitar, clean looking, but also has maybe app control. And I can select whether I'm live streaming and recording and make that guitar sound just like it is through a microphone, because that's what we all want, right? When we're recording direct, or I want to change some settings and be, have a great sound for a stage, more of a great stage, punchy, clean, feedback resistant sound all in an app where I can store those sounds. That's what I want. That's a huge investment. I've heard no rumblings of this happening, so I don't think we're going to get that. I would really need that. You know, to move away from the guitars I'm using right now, I would need a, a big, big jump in pickup systems. We had the F1 Aura. That was exciting. I'd like to see an F1 Aura modern day version with app control and the latest technologies. I don't know. I don't know what that means. I mean, there's so much you could talk about. You can talk about wireless and carbon fiber and all this stuff. They're not going to go completely crazy, but they've put themselves out there. They've said this is a groundbreaking new guitar. This has to be way different to the stuff we've seen before. If it isn't, then it's going to be a complete letdown. And if, if it isn't, I'm, I'm going to be done because it's like, come on, can't put those words in your ad and not really shake things up so that's why i'm so excited to be reasonable i'd like to see stainless steel frets a great sounding acoustic guitar a great playing acoustic guitar and a new brand new innovative pickup system for both the casual player and the super serious pro player that's what i'm really hoping to see and that would be a game changer because that would get me back to playing one of these martin stage guitars on stage again so I really hope we see that, but I have no idea. So if you know anything, let me know in the comments below. If you want to take a guess in the comments, what you think this is going to be and the specs and what, where they're going with this and what's happened with the SC, put it in the comments below. I'm going to enjoy reading and replying to all of those comments. And please subscribe and ring the bell because I'll either be at the NAMM show in January or I'll be reporting as soon as this comes out. I think this actually comes out before the NAMM show. So we can talk about it in another follow-up video and see who got closest. That'll be fun. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this. Thanks for watching. Take care and be well. I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.